So here's the scenario now. You're on the stage, everybody's jamming, and then all of a sudden they point to you and say, bass solo, what are you gonna do? So the first thing I wanna get into your head is it doesn't always have to be fast or chop related, but think in terms of keeping it interesting and create a memorable solo, a solo with an opening statement, a solo that every note counts as something because most bass solos that I hear are, I mean, very boring because it's just a lot of really quick, fast notes, but they're not paying attention to the chord progression. And it's kind of like, sounds like what they've practiced in their room and they just came and brought that to the stage. Be melodic, like write a song while you're taking the solo. And think, one of the, one of the little tricks I use is, is, I think it's always good to know the melody of a song anyway. So, you know, you've learned the bass line, but if you can learn the melody, that's a, that's a bonus. Um, and if you're really at a loss for ideas, just start with the melody. And that usually gets you into the flow and then just, you know, improve on that, improvise. Um, if you're playing the blues, that's, that's fun because you can use the five notes of the pentatonic scale and that'll help you out a lot. But use your imagination and think of something that's going to that's gonna stick and people are going to remember. And, and make the solo have an arc. It starts out slowly and builds up to a, a climax. And then, you know, just then you can knock them out and take your round of applause. But again, think about what you want to play. Don't just play for the sake of playing. And, and try to listen to what's going on underneath. Listen to the chords. Uh, Sing melodies in your head to yourself. Uh, one of the things I do when I know that I'm going to be up next for a solo or, or that I have a solo later on in the song is I'll listen to what the keyboard player is playing or the guitar player is playing. They, they come up with some great ideas. And I'll just you know catalog a couple of those ideas as starting points for something to play during my solo. But just make sure you're not just randomly playing any notes and that you're, you're really you know, creating, you're, you're writing a song, you know, you're improvising, coming up with it off the top of your head. Okay, here's an idea of a bad solo. <laughs> okay, I mean, that might sound good to somebody, <laughs> but too many notes, nobody's paying attention to the chord. And so if I were gonna develop a solo, it would go something like this. Not a lot of notes. So something to that effect, we start with a little motif, something that's identifiable that you, you are soloing, but then develop the solo and then, and then give it a definite ending, you know, we do. You know, just anything that, that is um, definitive, musical, and tasty. Thank you. 